I grew up in Staten Island, New York, and uh, my dad is a retired New York City Police Department uh, detective. Uh, my mom was a legal secretary, so I came from a very blue collar, you know, we didn't go out to dinner much, we didn't have a lot of the luxuries in life, um, but good hardworking people. I went to college in New Jersey at Rutgers, and then I moved to Hoboken and kind of been in New Jersey ever since. Grew up in Staten Island, New York, and went to the same high school as Joe. Honestly, the first time I was on a plane was when I was in high school and we played a football game in Ohio. I was lucky enough to get a scholarship to go to college for football. I went to Syracuse University. In, in college, I was working during the summers in the currency market. I was working for a brokerage firm during vacations and summertime. I had nothing to do with what I went to school for and just happened to get a job and stuck with that job for 23 years. We met uh, in that industry. So our goal, you know, in, even though we didn't know each other, was to, let's get to Wall Street because the people, those are the people who had a little extra money. Paid well but kept us out of the house for long periods of time and didn't enjoy some of the things that we should have enjoyed. At our desk at 7 a.m., you know, in a full suit and tie, clients would come in from overseas and they'd want to go out till like three in the morning. You know, we had to go to work the next day. If, you, if your kid's got a dance competition, you know, at seven o'clock at night, you're out with clients, you can't go, or a baseball game or a basketball game, and you're missing them. You're stuck at, at the office and you're working your butt off, making good money, but again, you're missing those moments. Again, not a lot of uh, time freedom. When you know, the kids were little, we were you know, leaving the house at, in the dark, coming home in the dark. You get married, you have a couple of kids, you get a house, you pay your bills, and eventually you, you, know, you retire. It's not like that anymore. We were just like getting let go one by one. It was like picking us off one by one. And I was working for 23 years doing it, making a lot of money, and I got a tap on the shoulder. They said, listen, we can't pay you anymore. I put in 10 years. It's like, you know, it's like serving a sentence. You know, I, I did my 10 years. I could have just stuck around another five years, but I was like, you know what? There's no way I'm gonna make more money next year than this year. And I need to be in a business where it's always a possibility for me to make more, for me to get paid what I'm worth. I actually started a payroll and benefits company and I grew that and sold it for title insurance. And Joe said, we're gonna start a title insurance company with Bart Oates from the New York Giants. And I was like, sure, what do I gotta do? He goes, well, it's about relationships. Price is the same with every company. It's just about relationships and building that and feeding off that. You know, first time entrepreneurs, um, brick and mortar. We didn't really know anything about title. We took a crash course, you had to get licensed. And we started doing that for years and eventually, you know, again, something else came up, the economy. You know, real estate went down the tubes, mortgages went down the tubes. When the whole mortgage debacle happened, you don't know that it's gonna last three years. You know, we're thinking maybe next month. And so we're borrowing money from our credit lines to make a $40,000 a month payroll, thinking we're not gonna fire anyone because it's gonna pick up next month. And, and, and then I'm like, oh my God, how long can we do this? Uh, and then that's when someone tapped us on the shoulder and said, here's something else, you know, check it out. We were like, we'll check out anything at this point. Network marketing, we were born to do network marketing, but we never actually gave it any credibility. We were those guys like, you know, no thanks, no I thanks, no thanks. I never do it. And we actually had a guy in foreign exchange and he'd walk in with a bag full of stuff. And he's like, oh, you gotta charge this for your wife. Give this to your wife. Oh, it's, it got to the point where he walked in with a bag, people going, oh my God, here he comes with this stuff again. About six, six years ago was when I first realized there's a better way than just you know, being that bad guy. Most people don't think it's possible. They just, it's a dream that they don't even dream anymore. I mean, who wants to work in the rest of their lives and just kill themselves to make money? You can actually help people make money by just doing what people should be doing, networking. Now we can get in touch with a thousand people in a split second. The future of network marketing now is brighter than ever because again, we were victims of technology once or twice. Now technology's our friend. Who do you really listen to? You listen to your high school buddies, your family, you know, you're a guy you used to work at your old job together, people you still bond with. The future is gonna be network marketing. Most companies that come out with good products are gonna to wanna to sell it this way. You're not paying for advertising that no one's watching. You graduate at the top of your class, that's great. Doesn't mean you have to do that the rest of your life if you find a better way. I am Frank Marone. I am a father, I am a husband, I am a goal achiever, and I am a network marketing professional. I am Joe Occhio Grosso and I am a proud father. I am a good friend to many. I am a business leader and I am a network marketing professional. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you will become a network marketing professional. You will decide to go pro. Because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now, let's go tell the world.